the cross I find peace at the cross I find life at the cross You suffered and died for me At the cross Hallelujah. I find peace at the cross. Sing with me, brothers and sisters. I find life at the cross. He suffered and died for me. Your blood has washed me whiter than snow. Forgiveness is found at the crimson flow. Mercy has triumphed, my debt has been paid at the cross. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lamb of God who has done all this for us. At the cross we found peace, we find rest, we find life. Hallelujah. We are new creation. Amen. Glory be to God forever. Amen. Because we have believed the gospel. Amen. The gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ that he died on the cross for our sin and he was risen again for our justification. He is coming back again to take the church. He is seated at the right hand of God the Father. making intercession for us. If you believe that today in your heart you shall be saved. Amen. And the Holy Spirit will come and start living in you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and you will become a child of God and you become a new creation, a new special being, the new brown new being of a of a different species, you know, that you are now safe. Amen. You have now internal life now living in you. So but you have to renew your mind by now by reading the word of God, the gospel in the name of the Lord Jesus. You have to also be baptized in water. You look for a church that can baptize you in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Hallelujah. But today I'm talking the again, I'm bringing to you again this series. I was going on with since uh, almost now it's almost a week it's about the strong man the strong man what is his name and what is his game the bible jesus christ was the one speaking in the book of matthew 12 29 say how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his good except he first bind that strong man and then he can spoil his house so the strong man is like a principal demon the book of ephesians uh, 6 talk about them that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers against the rulers of darkness of this one against spiritual weakness in the high places so that spiritual weakness and the principality the power they those are the strong man the principal demon they have these demons it's like a kind of uh, a, a, you can say a principal demon sometimes a strong man can be over your career over your house over your job over your 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 calling over many things even over a nation you can go somewhere and you will see a strong man operating there you can go to a, a person's life that's why i've been dealing with this strong man and exp uh, exposing all their causing demons and their family their co-workers who are also attached to them so that when you see it in somebody's life you'll be able to know and say oh this is what is operating here in this story this yes, is a strong man of this this is a strong man of prevention it's a strong man of infirmity it's a strong man of death it's a strong man of but today i'm talking about this strong man called the spirit of heaviness and all his cousins Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The book of Isaiah 61 talk about this strong man. He says here that the book of Isaiah, let me just read from verse 1. He said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach the good tidings unto the meek. He has also sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty unto the captive and also the opening of prison to them that are bound amen in the name of jesus to proclaim the acceptable year of the lord the day of vengeance of our god the um, also to comfort all those that mourn and to appoint unto them that are in zion to give unto them beauty for arches the oil of joy for mourning and also the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness so it's the spirit of heaviness we want to talk today and also how can you get victory over them amen in the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth 
So who are the causes of this uh, spirit of heaviness? The spirit of heaviness have different kind of uh, causes that are under him, like excessive mourning, uh, sorrow, grief, uh, rejection, insomnia, self-pity, depression, broken-hearted, despair, uh, dejection, hopelessness, and suicide thoughts, and inner hurts, torn spirit, and all these are all the the the, the causes, or you say the fruits of this spirit of heaviness that is attached onto it. So the the symptom of a strong man. You will always see when somebody is just like so much is mourning, and uh, the 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 Bible said that mourn, when you mourn for someone who died for you, a, a, a period of time is okay because uh, God get, God um, grief is God given emotion for us to mourn for our loved ones. But when you start to mourn that ex exceed the time of period, then this spirit of grief will come in now, and this period. Okay. Grief will just is a cause of this spirit of heaviness, and then you can mourn there. So people will mourn for their people for 20, 30 years. They have never given up. Amen. And those some day you can see that if the door is open, you don't close the door quick. You see, spirit of death can come in. Different type of spirit that will start to come in. Amen. So if you are a born again Christian, somebody died and who is a believer, you don't need to mourn for so long. You have to just tell the Lord. You have to hand it over to the Lord. Amen. In the name of Jesus. The book of Isaiah 53 was talking about Isaiah 53 4. He said that surely he has borne our grief and carried our sorrow. So you have to give it to the Lord because he borne our grief on the cross. Amen. And he carried our sorrow, Jesus Christ himself. Amen. In Jesus Christ's mighty and powerful name. Hallelujah. So God wants us to turn our ashes to he want to turn all our ashes into something else amen in jesus name the bible talk about in the book of philippians 3 um 13 to uh, 14 saying that but this one thing i do forgetting all those things that are behind and reaching forth onto the things that are before i press towards the mark of the high price of the high calling of God. Amen. In Jesus name, when something has passed, you have to let it go. It is done. It is, you know, you cannot go to the grave and bring the person back. Amen. I know it's somebody who is love. I also, when I lost my brother, I also, I mourned for almost, it was, it took me almost say, three or four years. I was still mourning for him. You know, because it was a big surprise and shock for me because it took so fast and it, it just happened so quick, you know, but there was a time that the Lord told me I had to let go. Amen. Because if not, you can open the spirit of death with that. Amen. In Jesus name. And so Sometimes if you keep seeing the people in your dream, you have to break so tight with them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Self-pity is another one, another cousin of this spirit of uh, heaviness. You know, you see the Bible says that David always encouraged himself in the Lord. When David was sad, you know, when they, like in Shushlak, when they, 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 they burn Shushlak, take his wife and his children and everybody, the Bible said they nearly stoned David down. But David was encouraging himself unto the Lord. That's why you see David is the one who write the book of Psalms and you see a lot of praise and worship and all kinds he will talk about his self-pity. He will talk about his downs and his lows and, and what is troubling him in heaviness and all kinds. Then he will talk about, he will praise God also. You know, the Bible says David always, in, uh, uh, always praise the Lord, encourage himself in the Lord. So that is his, the solution for people who are self-pity, you know. You can, you can you, if you lost relationship and friendship and family members and all that kind of stuff, sometimes you can be lonely, you know, and then you can have self-pity, but you have to encourage yourself in the Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God has promised us that he will always be with us in the book of Romans 8. Uh, I mean, Isaiah 43, he said, he will never leave us. He said, when thou shalt, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you, through the river, and also they shall not overflow you. God promised to be with us all the time. Je the Holy Spirit is our comforter, who is always there. He will never leave us, and he will never forsake us. Even Jesus Christ himself said in the book of Matthew 11, 
28 to 29, he said, come unto me, all you that are labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Yes, Jesus says, come to me and I'll give you rest for your soul. Jesus Christ wants to give us rest for our soul in the name of the Lord Jesus. So self-pity is also a cousin of that spirit of heaviness, broken relationship. Sometimes uh, death can leave people with broken relationship and uh, also even divorce and many things can happen, disappointment. And that that uh, that can leave the door open if you don't forgive quick and you repent quick and, and ask God to take this burden, the door can be open and then the devil will come in and start to shoot you all kind of fairy that. And then to now to wound your soul. And when your soul is wounded, you will be destroyed for that. that that is just how it is. The spirit of death will come in. So you have to, to, to hand it over to the Lord. The Bible says we should cast our care onto the Lord because he cares for us in the name of Jesus. Depression is also another cousin of this spirit of heaviness. Depression is an epidemic all over the world. Broken marriages, troubled children, suicide, even homicide, so many things. They say mental health in, uh, in all over the world is more than uh, 50 million of people have mental help and so some are in a clinical depression some are in a terrible depression you know that is a kind of psychiatric uh, disorder depression that it is nobody know the cause of it but the devil is the cause of all this the bible says that the that god anointed jesus christ of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power who we went about doing uh, good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil oppression and depression is the same thing is the uh, it is it is in your spirit man it's your soul so the devil is the one that oppresses people with sickness disease and all emotional sickness and disease and jesus christ came to heal us to bind up our wounds to bind our broken hearted amen in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So even you will see Christians today are depressed. You will see so many pastors are dying today because of depression. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we have to we have to we have to hand everything to god there are not another cousin of this spirit of heaviness is suicide suicide thought you know you can be disappointed so many things can happen to you but you don't have to have that suicide thought. i see so many people cutting themselves and with the with, with, with knife they have blood is coming out because they have suicide thought because that spirit is inside this spirit of heaviness is inside and then it is tormenting your soul because it is a soul sickness this sickness is so it's not something that is open sickness that you can go to the doctor you know to for you for healing they will give you depressive uh, medication to take but that will just come any the thing that and they, it will not help you i remember before i just when i just came to the lord i had this spirit it was oppressing me so much i go to the doctor in germany so many times the doctors will just tell me they they say you do be spiritual you uh, do be uh, geistly crank, which means in german they say you are your spirit is sick that's what the doctor used to tell me. So I would say, oh, look at my back. Look here. Look here. The man would say, there is nothing there. He checked everything. There is nothing there. But that was that spirit of uh, depression, oppression that was oppressing me. And then from there, when I, I began to go now to church most of the time, praise and worship, that's how that spirit left. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the blood is against me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my phone was ringing in between. Forgive me, sorry, sorry, sorry. So yeah, so suicide is also another uh, thing. Uh, suicide is the, one of the stuff, you know. So the Bible also talk about, you know, people trying to kill themselves, you know. This heaviness can cause you to go to kill yourself. But Jesus has made a way for us. You see King Saul, the Bible says that King Saul also, was attacked with this spirit when god's spirit left him the spirit of this of uh, depression came onto him until when david always come to him to play the 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 uh the high uh, high fair or something like that and then this spirit will left there his soul will be refreshed so you know singing and worshiping and good songs and music is one of the best way to 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 overcome to put the garment of praise is one of the the best way to overcome this spirit of heaviness amen in the name of the lord jesus christ 
Um, there, there was one, my, I want to give you one testimony. There was one guy I met in Toko in Finland when I was doing my mission work there. I was just walking on the street there. I just saw her and uh, she was just like very confused and just like, almost like, I, I just give calls to her. I said, can I talk to you? I give her the card. I was telling her that I'm a missionary from Canada and I'm giving her the gospel. I want to tell her about Jesus Christ. And then I said, can I pray for you? After I told her everything, I said, can I pray for you? She said, okay, I can pray for you. When I, I put my hand on her and then I told I just rebuked the spirit of death because I could see that spirit on the eye. I said, get out now in the name of you on the corner of the street. I did not, I did not care. I said, lose your power to her. Now I take authority over you to bind you in the name of Jesus. The guy, the guy just opened the eye like he said, wow, what just happened? What just happened to me? You know, I said, he said, wow, I've never seen this before. I, I, I hear about Christians. I've never known this type of Christians before. You know, I said, yes, I'm a born again Christian. You know, he said, I feel the power of God. Oh my God. You know, she hugged me and then she started to tell me that she was planning to go and kill herself that same day that I prayed for her like that. See, it's God that made me to talk to her. She said she was planning to commit suicide. Immediately I was praying for her and we were talking, immediately her phone just started to ring, which means there was a strong man who was uh, holding this girl in this captivity. They just started to call her. Then she said, ah, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. But I told her, I said, look, you have to, you know, I said, give me your number. You have to come to the church. You have to pray and all that. But when I called her again one or two times, I did not hear she did not pick her phone again but i hope that everything was fine with her you know but that is how god talked to us amen in jesus and so the the the, the medicine of the spirit of heaviness is the garment of praise amen in jesus name it is against the spirit of heaviness when you see the symptoms of insomnia depression loneliness self-pity whenever all difficult sleeping come in your life that is how i used to do it i would just start to praise the lord anyhow you know i praise the lord in the name of the lord jesus christ and the devil will leave amen because the bible says that god it god inhabit the praise of his people amen in the name of the lord jesus christ god's presence is if when god's present he said the more we praise god the easier it gets because when god's presence is there his power is there you know and it, as it is written that god inhabit the praise of his people so you can sing you can praise praise even in the tongues it doesn't really matter in the name of the lord jesus christ he said when the bible said when the enemy when when the enemy shall come like a flood the spirit of the lord shall lift up a standard against him yes when you start praising god and the spirit of god come all the devils that will live in the name of the lord jesus christ he said no you know that whom you 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 healed yourself servant to obey uh he seven you shall be to obey whether it is of death or of obedience unto righteousness so it is good to praise god sing in tongues if you have not received the um if you have not received uh, the the baptism of the Holy Ghost, look one of my videos I talk about it. Receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Start to pray in tongues. Start to worship in tongues. The Bible says that you are building your spirit, man. Amen. In Jesus' name, out of your belly shall flow the river of living water. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth so we have to be aggressive to stand against the spirit in the name of the lord jesus christ so we have to forgive us god for forgiveness father in the name of jesus forgive us for neglecting time in prayer and also for reading your word in the name of the lord jesus christ and we have allowed the spirit of heaviness to come in our life to come and rob us from your goodness in our life in jesus christ mighty name father we promise in jesus name that we will reject every thought of self-pity in jesus name and he put the garment of praise from henceforth in the mighty name of jesus we stand today in the name of the lord jesus to bind that spirit according to matthew 18 18 to bind the spirit of heaviness in the name of jesus let that strong man that principal demon it be bound with all his cousins all his co-workers in the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth according to matthew 18 18 in jesus name we recognize that with this uh, this spirit has taken advantage in over our life so right now we resist it in the name of the lord jesus the book 
of James 4, 7 says, Resist the devil and he will flee from you in Jesus Christ's mighty name. So therefore we resist you today. You cannot come back any longer. We close the door in the name of Jesus. So our victory, Father, we thank you for delivering us from this trap of the enemy in Jesus' name. Father, lose unto us um, the, the garment of praise in Jesus' name. Lose unto the, 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 the garment of praise, the spirit of the comforter, the Holy Spirit to comfort us, to heal the broken heart in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ let them put on to oil today your oil of joy on all the wounds to be healed in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth hallelujah in Jesus Christ's mighty name so I will talk about today let's bind all the spirits then I will give you the cure of um, spirit of heaviness so therefore now in the mighty name of jesus let me command all the evil spirit all the cousins of the spirit of heaviness to leave spirit of sorrow go in the name of the lord jesus christ heartache headache go now in jesus name crying spirit leave in the name of jesus spirit of sadness go in jesus name any cruel spirit spirit of burden be bound be cast out in the name of jesus any oppression spirit pain anxiety insomnia lose your powers now in the name of jesus spirit of fear trauma worry go now in jesus say any spirit of discouragement i bind cast you out in the name of jesus Can any spirit of oppression and death and get out in jesus say all emotional sicknesses be bound be cast out in the name of Jesus Christ, any spirit of regret and grief go out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Leave the people in Jesus' name. They have repented for their sin. Get out now in Jesus' name. Any spirit of uh, of suffering, suicide, suicide thoughts go in the name of Jesus. Loneliness, distress, leave the people now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Any spirit of inner hurt in the name of Jesus Christ. Lose your powers, cursing, lose your powers, bruises. Get out in Jesus' name. Jesus Christ was bruised for us. In the name of the Lord Jesus, any spirit of shame, insecurity, be bound, cast out in Jesus, the infirmity, all sicknesses and insanity, madness, be bound, be cast out in the name of Jesus Christ. Any spirit of redraw, impotent rejection, I bind, cast you out now in the name of Jesus. Any spirit of guilt, hypertension, bitterness, be bound, be cast out now in Jesus. Name. Any spirit of resentment, despair in the name of Jesus, hopelessness, go now in the name of Jesus. Pack out, get out in the name of Jesus Christ. Any spirit of depression, escape, laziness, procrastination, in double mindedness, frustration, all of you be bound and be cast out in Jesus' name. I release now this, I lose the spirit according to Matthew 18 18. This comforter who have the, with the spirit, the garment of praise, the oil of joy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, according to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 61 3 in the name of the Lord Jesus brothers and sisters God God is good amen he wants to heal you Jesus Christ went to the cross to do that for us the Bible says in the book of Isaiah 53 that he was that he himself took our grief and our sorrow he was wounded for our transgression he was bruised for our iniquity all the chastisement that brought us peace now was laid upon Jesus and by his wounds we are healed in the name of Jesus Christ so I'll give you some advice the the, the Bible talk a lot in the new covenant about this spirit of evidence how we can overcome it you will see the book of of uh, Colossians 3, he was saying that let Christ's word dwell in your heart. So you have to read the word of God a lot in Jesus' name. And you have to be grateful and be joyful in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Proverbs 4, 23 is saying that guide your heart, guard your heart. You know, because life flows out of it. Amen. In Jesus' name. The book also of... Um, of uh, Nehemiah, he said that the joy of the Lord is our strength. So you have to be joyful because that is your strength. The book of Philippians, he said, think of these things, things that are good, things that are praise God, good things, think about it. Amen. In the name of Jesus, don't be thinking of things that is past morning and all that kind of stuff. Think of good things. If you read the book of Philippians 4, 8, he's talking about that. So you have to be, have a praiseful life as a lifestyle all the time. That is my advice. Have praise all the time. Amen. If you read the book of uh, Isaiah 61, it tells you say the beauty now God wants to change. There, there is a divine exchange that took place on the cross to change um, the beauty, the arches for beauty, amen, in Jesus name, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Yes, that took place on the cross of Calvary. So you have to appropriate uh, that in your life in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ went to the cross. He is now our peace, amen, in Jesus name. Ephesians 5 verse 19 and 20 was telling 
telling us also, he said that we should speak to ourselves in psalms and singing and making melody in our heart unto the Lord, giving thanks always for all things unto God and to the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Colossians, um, Colossians 3 also is, is talking the same thing. Let me read the book of Colossians 3 quickly for you. You hear it's saying the same thing, what we have to do. Colossians 3, Colossians 3 here, verse 15. It says, And let the peace of God rule in your heart, to which you are called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of God dwell in your heart richly, with all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms, in hymns, spiritual songs, and singing with grace in your heart unto the Lord. Amen. And he said, and whatsoever you do in words or in deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks unto God the Father by him. So that is the, the, the cure of, of uh, the spirit of heaviness. Always singing, making sounds, hymns in your heart. Uh, the book of sounds have a lot of praise, making singing sounds, uh, praying sounds, giving praise to God, spiritual songs, making melody in your heart all those things in the name of jesus christ he will overcome that spirit of heaviness in the name of the lord jesus christ thank you fellow believers god bless you in jesus name i hope that you forgive me for my phone ringing because i'm using my phone to record this video and my phone was just ringing in, in between in the name of the lord jesus christ forgive me for that in jesus name i hope this video encourage every one of you in jesus christ mighty name and also for you to take today as a thanksgiving worship and and uh, making melody in your heart singing with grace in your heart the word of god be thankful in the name of the lord jesus christ and you will see a great change um that spirit of heaviness will leave it will take a will get away from your life amen in the name of jesus christ. anytime he wants to come you just put on praise again that is your garment take your garment of praise amen and put it on and start to sing and worship and praise the lord you are not praising the lord you are praising god for yourself because the way you praise god the oil of joy will come and that is what healed your broken heart and heal also that uh, that that drive away that spirit of uh, of heaven because god inhabit the praise of his people in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah so god bless you i will see you in the next audio or even in the next video in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ by god's willing in jesus name thank you thank you for subscribing thank you for listening thank you for for sharing the video in the name of jesus thank you